Hello, this is Classical Conversations, 5th edition, Cycle 1, Week 10 Science. This is our owl pellet dissection. For this experiment, you will need an owl pellet per student. I'm not going to take mine out, but each student in our community will have their own. You will need tweezers, a tray, gloves, and they will also need their pencil and then whatever bone sorting sheet that you have chosen for your community. This one I purchased from Lighthouse Christian Supply. I, I purchased a lot of things from them. I also purchased our owl pellets from them. And that is all they will need for supplies. For this lesson, they are going to spend the majority of their time hands-on sorting and identifying the bones that they find. While they are doing that, I would like us again to focus on the five core habits of grammar and science. We will start with naming. So the first thing that you do is when you go into the science classroom or into your classroom if you have science in your classroom is ask them, boys and girls, do you know what an owl pellet is? Have you ever seen an owl pellet? Okay, well, we're going to be sorting one in science today. What do you think we might find in an owl pellet? What do you think that owls eat? How do you think they find their food? Do you think that they hunt for their food during the day or at night? So we're just asking good questions and having good conversation. Then once they have um, once they've gotten in and you've gotten everything passed out and you've got them started, then you can start with their next step, which is attending. So then we're using the five senses. How does this owl pellet feel in your hands? Ugh, if you press too hard, there are some sharp things, huh? It has a stinky smell. Um, what do you see? What what noises does this make if we squeeze it or if we pull it apart? Uh, does it smell? Does it sound similar to what it does when we pull a cotton ball apart? Just engaging their five senses. Then we will go on to our memorizing. This is a great time to discuss past weeks what we have covered. Animal cells. Um, kingdoms of living things. What do, what of the kingdoms do you think an owl belongs to? And then going back over vertebrae, invertebrates, and to saying, do you think that an owl is a vertebrae or an invertebrate? Do you think that owls eat animals that are vertebrae and invertebrate? How do you think that owls reproduce? How do you, what do you think the animals that the owls eat, how do you think they reproduce? Well, owls reproduce by eggs and mice reproduce by live birth. These are ways that you can cover memory work from past weeks, week one, week six, week seven, week three. And then in addition to that, it's a good time to elaborate on these things that we've covered in science. Because remember, when we are doing a new grammar, we just stick in the sand drilling. But this is a great opportunity to elaborate on what we have been doing. Then we're moving on to expressing. So boys and girls, use the last part of your time to say, you know, what did you hear? And what did you see? And what do you remember? Do you want to tell me how do animals reproduce? You can let them do a little song to that. Um, and then you can say, okay, now what did we say? Did we say that owls reproduce by live birth or by eggs? That's right, by eggs. And we said that most of the animals that the owls eat, how do they reproduce? That's right, by live birth. And then last is storytelling. And this is a time for you to give the students 
I would say maybe five minutes as a whole. So give each child maybe an opportunity to say one thing, but have them to summarize what they've done and what one thing that they liked the most. Was it that they, I loved finding this skull or I didn't know that I was reproduced by X. Um, I just want us to try really hard to engage the students and have good conversations, teach them to have critical thinking skills and to, to have good questions and good conversations. Um, they're free to, you know, we want this to be a really fun activity for them. It's one of my very favorites. My kids really loved this before we did it. I just want it also to be a good time though to spend time reviewing these things that we've covered. I hope this video is helpful to you and I hope you're having a great year in your community. I pray that the Lord is blessing you richly and that you will have a great year. This is cycle one week 10 science.